All right, welcome back to my Let's Play tutorial of They Are Billions here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. And picking up in this third episode, where we left off, we just repulsed the first swarm of zombies, or infected as they call them. And we're preparing to expand our colony and get ready for the next swarm and to start pushing out outwards. And you know, one thing they call the, the zombies in this game infected or the infected and that's a pretty good name for them I, I find it amusing how in some games <laughs> they have like very uh, goofy names from like, like you know I'm not gonna say like clickers or you know or like oh what was it in there's that game oh oh man oh it doesn't matter goofy goofy names for zombies and the people that are like don't call them zombies! They're not zombies. Yeah, there's zombies. Come on, get, get real. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is get our market research. Like, uh, purchase the market. So we can get that built. And, oh, yeah. What we do need to do is, again, repair. So we have some repair work out there. And there's repair work over here. Now you see that tower is a little purple life bar over that tower. That means it was hurt. And now... That probably means a, a harpy jumped over there and started attacking the tower. So, yeah, harpy's gonna jump walls, which is pretty annoying. <laughs> and these zombies are being attacked. So that's, that's great. That's fantastic, in fact. Build a little bit more defense right there. Alright. Let's see what's going on over here. Ah, you see? Here's a little incur incur incursion. Mainly just slow zombies, but a couple fast ones. Alright, so let's see if we can repair some more. One thing to note on repairing buildings is you do have to have the resources available to repair. And if, say, like, let's say, let's say, um, both this these towers were just, um, infected and, and broken and this one was as well let's say they got in here and they wrecked all that when we beat back the zombies and we wanted to repair things the first we'd have to repair this one because and we couldn't repair these before these th this one's repaired because both these towers depend on this one so you do have to follow the you know the, the dependencies which is kind of cool you know makes sense all right, to break through. let's see what they're doing over here. Yep, they're just attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking. That's fine, you know. You guys knock yourselves Any out. Orders? Let's go. Have them go over there. Let's... We need to uh, definitely... Fill the towers. What I'm gonna do, actually... Is have you are gonna pay me for this, right? I'm sure. Are under attack. You know me. I, I would always pay. Commander, what's in this tower? Okay, we need to put a sniper in that tower. I like. Oh, here. Let's get you out of here. Our defenses are being. I like to have any orders? at least one sniper Commander? in every tower, if at all possible. That has. I oh know, actually, let's put you right here. Ready and waiting. and let's have them good. go over here. Great. And Please. you guys can go right in here. There we are. Attention. Technology research finished. And that's great. So, that was the market, and now we can research the stone workshop. Sniper is ready. Sniper is ready. Finish repairing. Now let's look at our whether we can build the market. It's under your um, industry and trade buildings. And here's the warehouse, and here's the market. So it looks like we don't have enough workers for either one of these buildings. And both of these take. This one take. Let's see, a market takes eight workers, eight energy, 30 wood, 40 stone, and 400 gold. We don't have enough gold. And we do not have enough workers. So 
We really need to get more housing. Or upgrade the housing we do have. So we're going to work on that for a bit. And, you know, conveniently, the more housing you do have, death, death. the more gold you bring in. I'm going to put you... My rifle is ready. I'm glad to hear that. Put you right there. And I'll get a little bit more re um, resources from the train as well. The train has arrived at the station. That's good. All right. Let's... Keep upgrading these little um, tents to cottages. We're going to also need to build another uh, mill. We need more gold, of course. And here's the thing. This is when Attention. having to Building. wait on resources can become a pain in the neck and slow you down. And sometimes at very inconvenient times. But we're fine for now. Let's see. Where to put it? Put it right there. Yeah. You can't put the, them right next to each other either. Windmills and all energy buildings have to be a little, a certain distance from each other. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Isn't that great? <laughs> you wonder, being a zombie like that, I mean, do they, do they, are their brains just, are their minds gone, or do they sort of have like a vague mental existence still? And if so, how sad that is. I'm going to put you guys right down here so you can attack things that come this way. Alright, let's put these... Let's fill this tower right here. Reporting for duty. Attention. Building completed. Alright, let us... One more house. Actually, let's do some more. We really do need to get the work workers up. And then we can get the the market built and that'll of Attention. course free up a lot Building more food completed. and it will get us more gold because see all that stone and and iron right now that's just uh, in surplus to the maximum level it's just going to waste whereas the market they'll be selling it and getting this gold so that's really pretty helpful look at that that's just a random incursion oh there's a, a harpy yeah, and see having the snipers up. Oh, look, look right there. One of the chubbies has come. That's, oh, see, they're, they're tearing through that wall. But that's our extra, you know. <laughs> Actually, let's have you guys. Yes, you girls go over there and start shooting them up. Yeah. Because a lot of the incursions are going to come right there, so I think that's a good place for them to be, for now, anyways. Did we get our population boost? Yes, we did. So let's see if we can build a... Yes! Okay, here. Look, there's a warehouse. It expands the maximum storage capacity and resor of resources and gold, and it also increases the resource production of surrounding buildings. That's really useful. It really is a helpful building. Here's the market, which can buy and sell resources and automatically sells it. says resources produced, reduces the food needs of surrounding buildings. Really useful. And this is the stone workshop, which allows researching for complex structures based on stone mineral. Uh, what to do first? Ooh. You know, I think I'm going to do what I, I said I was going to do, build the market. Even though that's tempting to just go and build the stone workshop, but you know. See? In that field, every, I could put it here too, but that's wasting, I think. I'm going to put it right there. You'll get a lot of those houses. In really large colonies, it sometimes pays to build more than one market, but this colony is only going to be, you know, so big. You know, 2,000, which is kind of big, but not terribly huge. And I'm trying to build it into a rather confined space. I'm repair our wall. Not enough resources. All right, so let's see. We need more housing for our next big building. Let's 
Upgrade. Oh, no, we need more wood. All right. See, it's just wood. And wood is always going to become a prop, be one of the things that we're having to get more of. Attention. Mm. Building completed. Let's put it right there. Another wood, a sawmill, would be useful. Let's see, 13 workers. Let's build another house, another house, another house. Excellent. Ah, now. Order, sir. Come on. Yes, you two. Is everything okay? Fine, gentlemen. We'll go right there. Oh, that's three. Commander? Understood. You will go right here. That tower needs one more soldier. That needs a sniper. That needs nothing. That needs two soldiers and a sniper. And I don't know, we'll wait on that tower. That is just for in case we need it. What? Okay. What? I think it's, you know, be out there and help shooting. <laughs> Build. Three more guys for now. Our defenses are being attacked. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that incursion. That's something else right there. You know that gunfire? It's going to attract more zombies. Oh, there's another harpy. Yeah, she just got. <laughs> she got popped. And you see, having that wall right out here is good because then the, the harpy like has to sort of navigate that first, and our snipers can shoot it. For our soldiers. But yeah, that's pretty useful. Alright, let's see. Can we build another sawmill? Uh, let's see. Right there, right? Or right here? Yeah, right there. 13. Yeah. Now let's build another hunter shack. Um, cabin. For duty. Cottage. Hunter's cottage. Yeah, the farms are better, but you know you might as well just build them for some extra food. And okay, let's build one more. Yeah, no, no, that's not that good. Okay. Ah, our market. So that has. Look at our food right now. We have 67 food. We didn't build like a, another farm. It's just every one of these houses that's underneath it's all those houses there have been benef are benefiting from that market and consuming less food, which is really cool. So, all right. Hit repair again. And let's see, we need more. Ugh, needing more workers is one of the... <laughs> the standard things in this uh, game. You're always needing more. Let's see if this is enough to build our next big building. I don't know if it is going to be... No, it's not. I don't think so. That's all right. Next time. Let's see what we got. Can we build anything? Oh, we could build a warehouse. I really want to build the stone workshop, though. Uh, let's see. What was the warehouse? Take 10 workers. And that takes 20 workers. I think we need to save up for the stone workshop. Attention. Although, Building completed. you know, it might be better to do this, this first. You know, I'm going to do that, actually. I'm sorry. I changed my mind. <laughs> See? Right here? It's going to affect all those buildings. Our quarry right there. Our stone quarry. Our iron quarry. And those two farms. And then we'll be able to store up more um, resources. And not having them all go to waste. So they'll be readily available when we need them. Because once we get the stone workshop going... We're going to need uh, to start building not only uh, stone houses, but upgrading our wall, our wooden walls, to stone walls, which concrete walls, which are much more sturdy, and not by a little bit. Building completed. Yeah, that's that's great. Hopefully, you just mean rotten brains, right? Not just brains as such. I don't actually trust that guy. I think he means brains as such. You. Just tell me what to kill. Well, I'm going to tell you to go there and start killing whatever comes that way. 
And you too, John. Okay? Okay. Go right Attention. there. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Let's build one more. We'll complete this tower's complement of soldiers. Okay. We need quite a few more workers. Oh, and we need... And now if we want to build that... See here? Again, we have to build a, another mill because we're almost out of uh, energy. And here's the thing. You can easily find yourself in a position where you're, almost, you're out of energy and you can't build any more like, houses. But then you realize you don't have enough workers either, so you can't build a mill. <laughs> and so what do you do then? You know... Well, that's a good thing to show is like, say like a mill right here, a sawmill. What you can do is select it, hit square, and there's this pause button, and you hit that, and look at that. It, it'll stop te running temporarily. And so you don't get as much wood, obviously, because this one's not producing any wood, but if you look at it, here, I'll hit play. You see, there's four workers and four energy that are freed up or used by the um this mill sawmill so in a pinch you can use that on some of your production buildings to free up resources or workers so that in a emergency you can build something else like a say like we need to build another energy building or another house attention building and then once everything's back up then you attention. turn your building sawmill or whatever back on all right, excellent. Ah, oh, look, see? Oh, look, they come. Oh, there's another fatty. Another fatty. Oh, another one. Two of them. Aha. Yeah. Yeah, those incursions are just going to get more and more powerful. But that's all right, because we got something for them. Not only are our soldiers there more powerful now, but where we're going to, once we get the stone workshop, we're going to build some automated defenses. Now we have... Enough to build another windmill. And once that is built, then we can build our we can build our stone workshop. Ooh, look at those those harpies just fr vault right over those walls. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, anything going on over here? Seems all quiet on the western front. Perhaps for now. <laughs> Commander? Uh-oh. You go here. Ah, yes, that's right. Now, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oi, oi, oi. Let's upgrade Attention. that one. Building completed. Ah, good. Now we have our new windmills up. So let us build our stone workshop. And build it. Yeah, let's build it over her. Kind of out of the way. And not on the fertile, fertile ground, so, you know, where we would want to build a farm. Good. And that leaves us with just, you know, Attention. our standard thing making more housing, building more, training more soldiers. We only have one worker at the moment, so let's build or upgrade. Yeah, man. Here comes the train again. It'll give us a little bit, but not enough for our purposes. Okay, three workers. Building completed. We need to build another energy building, but we don't have enough workers right now. So that's fine. Whatever. Now my next question is, what should we do next? What we need to do next is start building, well, finish filling out our towers. And start putting together our, our mobile squad. Which will be responsible for clearing out zombies 
out on the map. Let's actually build another one right there. Another one right there. Another one right there. Attention. Another one right there. And another one. And another one. Alright. This would be pretty good. Next day, we will have a lot of... Need some more gold to train another sniper. Let us train another sniper. What do we need over here? What do we have over here? We need another sniper there. We need another soldier. And this tower has everything, and this tower has... Oh wow, not everything. <laughs> Let's build another sniper. See, I kind of screwed up. Well, I'm not totally screwed up, but we have only one worker left and no energy. But we're about to have energy, I mean, workers right now. So that solves that. And there we are. Which means whoop, now we can build another mill. Let's see. Build you over. One right there, and one, nope, not right there. You don't have any power to that spot. Right there, two mills. Ah, here they come again. Jeez, look at that. Crazy, right? What I'm gonna do, see, what do we need to do this? Oh, we need gold and energy. We can build a ballistic tower to help them out. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, when you hear that, that usually is the sound the zombies make when they are actually have made contact with their their target and are physically attacking it. The regular zombies anyways. It's kind of kind of nice. <laughs> a weird noise. I need to explode this call. Need to be quiet, homie. Dang. Like darkest thoughts, I don't know. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> Let's see. Eh, here comes more zombies. Just ambling along like they have nothing better to do with their time than come here and cause problems. Which I guess they don't have anything better to do. They're zombies. Alright, let's look at what we can build here at the stone workshop. Oop, get rid of you. Here's a stone tower. That allows you to upgrade the wooden towers to stone towers, which give them a better advantage. You know, they have further sight and range advantage, which is really cool. Stone walls, that's going to be very important for us. The wasp, and this is one of my favorite things. This is a small, this machine gun automatically attacks nearby enemies. As it is an inert object, the zombies do not treat it like prey, though they can be attracted by their fire. And it, you see salary, it costs two gold all the time to, for its upkeep. Yeah, it costs 800 to build, but you also, you see how right now we're making 524 gold per turn? Every wasp that you put on the map will lower the, our gold income by two. But it's really, they're really, really helpful. I really love them. They can be very useful. Here's the stone house, which is the highest dwelling for colonists. And basically it gives you twice the number of colonists and workers as a cottage and gives you way more gold income. So those are really great. And this is the bank. This is, you know, like the market. It increases, only this one increases the amount of gold generated by each colonist and the surrounding dwellings. And like you can say, C, the nearby dwellings generate 30% more gold, which is really, really helpful. So let's see, first things first, Here's the thing, we have 380 colonists right now. To build your second sort of economic structure, the first one you have to build, you have to have 200 colonists. Your second one you have to up, have up to 400 colonists. Otherwise you won't be able to build it. Do I want to upgrade the walls first? Or do I want to build wasp turrets first? That's a great question. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I need wasps. We'll do the the other next. <laughs> I really love these. 
Do some more houses. And let's get some more um people. Soldiers. People. More people. More soldiers trained. We need what? Right here. Two soldiers and a sniper. The train has arrived at the station. Attention. Building completed. Attention. And another Building soldier. Oi. Really do need. Yep, see? They're shooting it up. There's, this is going to attract a lot of enemies. Let's see if we can see over here. Are they coming? Sometimes you can see them. I think I showed you this earlier. Every once in a while you'll see one of the the harpies or whatever start freaking out and run over to the towards the colony. <laughs> Which is cool. The more they get themselves killed now, the less we have to kill when we go out there to hunt them. Repair our walls. Always remember to repair your walls. Otherwise you will find yourself with holes in your defenses and <laughs> being out of luck. Which is Stinks, and no one likes being out of luck, I suppose, right? No, it stinks. I'm gonna build another row of houses right here. Oh, well, once we have more resources, that is. We need more food. So, let's build another farm. Let's see where to build it. No, we can't build it there. Ooh, right there. 65, 40. Eh, that would be. Yeah, nah. Build a farm right there. A farm right there. The good thing about those farms is that not only do they, not only do they give us lots of food, they give us twelve colonists each. And you don't have to wait for the train to drop them off for some reason. I don't know why that is, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's useful. Put you right in here. Since that is the really busy section of the map and let us move you guys A new task. out of the way I'm going to build a oh dang it still can't build it 500 gold let's build a uh, wasp turret build the first turret right here cost a little bit of money to build, but you know, they're still really useful. And so I think... Attention. Yeah, let's Building build one more. Completed. Oh wait, no, we can build our ballista. Here's the train. The train I want to build right it here station. or here. Ooh, we could build another one here. They cannot be right next to each other either. So having them interspersed with towers is actually really helpful. I think right there. You want to make sure you haven't trapped your units that are in towers off. Yeah, in towers. Otherwise, they can't get out and you can't put anybody else in. But they're okay. Alright. I think... Let's let a little bit more time... Oh, our farms are built. So good. Let's build one more house right here. I don't want to block that off, so I'm going to build this right here. Let's just build it right here. No, see, that's going to block. Okay, so build it right there, so they can still get through. And then over here, here's something kind of cool. One of the things you can do is see these walls, these outer walls I built? You can put the wasp turrets right there in between the walls like in the sections, like here and here. And so you can just put, fill your <laughs> fill your walls with turrets. And it really makes for a pretty pretty decent defense. Death. Okay. Death. Yeah, you need, really need to calm down, dude. Let's actually have... Tell me your darkest thoughts. I have to say that sometimes the, the some of the units there their lines get kind of repetitive and annoying, Attention. but you know, Building it's fine. Completed. 
it's serviceable for what it is. Okay, so one more thing to do before we close up shop for this episode is I want to purchase stone walls. 500? Now, just because I purchased the stone wall upgrade does not mean it automatically my walls are upgraded. You do have to manually upgrade your walls that are the, the wooden walls that you already have. You have to upgrade them into stone walls. But that's that's fine. It, um, we're already doing a lot better than where we were. The second um, uh, swarm is never too terrible, but it's going to be stronger than the last one. The last one was kind of a joke, actually. <laughs> Pretty piddling. Oh, oh, they're attacking. Oh, we're getting attacked right there. Ah, oh, here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. You have enough of those little turrets. They can just freaking shred these swarms. Especially these, you know, incursions. Rando incursions. Just get shredded by the freaking turrets. It's really fun. Okay, let's repair that. And... Anything else? Oh, well, wait till after our walls, stone wall upgrade is complete, and then I'm going to call this episode. Let's see. What? Okay. Look at our resources. We have, or our status of our colony, we have 472 uh, colonists. We have 44 workers, 94 food, and 30 energy. That's doing pretty well. For the moment, we're gonna need to build. I'm gonna build. Oh, look at that tower! I mean, that turret is going. Build a. Let's see. Ah, oh, good. Right there. So that is the technology. So see, so you can select one of your walls and upgrade it. But we'll do that next time. So, thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play tutorial of They Are Billions here on Idle Wisdom. Next time, we will brace ourselves for the second swarm, which is coming in three days, and then send our our force of soldiers off into the into the murky wilderness and start you know shredding zombies out there. And we're going to build more houses, probably build a bank, and finish, you know, beefing up our defenses. We're going to concrete all our walls and, I don't know, generally get a lot more powerful. Alright, y'all take it easy and I'll see you next time. Take care.